Thanks to a private donation of $100,000 three years ago, Plan and GMC have been backing a media movement which is now sweeping Mali and Guinea. With religious leaders speaking out on primetime TV for the first time, this has been a highly successful media campaign. With 234 separate campaigns driven by over 100 activists, this is the most intense media rollout against FGM ever seen in West Africa. The movement is based on empowering frontline media activists to lead the fight. The process is as transparent as it is simple. Activists devise their media campaigns and submit their proposals to GMC and plan via WhatsApp. The grants they receive pay for airtime and the activists show accounts for everything they do. Mais la confiance que GMC a placée aux gens, c'est inédit. Ils sont motivés, ils ont confiance. Donc pour ça, chapeau. Media in Africa is inexpensive and has proven highly effective in fighting FGM. It's the activists who determine the content of their media. They use their own words and speak in their own language. The golden key in Mali and Guinea is convincing highly influential religious leaders to go on the media and condemn FGM. As with every other country, the best way to convert people is to show them the reality of the practice. Their reaction to the truth is always one of profound shock. Now there are over a hundred planned GMC activists across Guinea and Mali. By Christmas 2020, they had generated over 113 million views and listens in cities, villages and IDP camps. Media activists are going from strength to strength. Our most recent impact studies in Kenya show that following intense media campaigns, people's attitudes towards and acceptance of the worst forms of FGM fell from 90% to 5% in just three years. And now, with additional support from the UNFPA, who've come in at a critical moment to back the grassroots activists in six countries, ending FGM will be a reality for the next generation.